just coming up to the tunnel. Not sure if you can just see it in the distance. Past the railway bridge. We're going to moor up on the left up here. This is the uh, the waiting pontoon. And if you look at the uh, colour of the water, it's like rust. Like the river at Charlie Cho Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. It's uh, it's rust coloured because of the high content of iron in the soil round here. So there you go. You learn a new thing every day on Boat Dog Traveller. <laughs> Right, let's go and sort this tunnel out. Here we are at the tunnel. On the Chocolate River. Just going to moor up, so I need both hands. Catch in a sec. Right, we're just waiting at the entrance of the tunnel now because um, obviously there's a, it's a single file tunnel. And uh, it's there's obviously someone northbound, so we have to wait for them to come out and then we'll be let through to go southbound. But Hare Castle is uh, quite a low tunnel towards the south portal, um, it goes like a kind of a cave. Um, and you want to um, remove any kind of high stuff off the top of your roof and stuff like that. So, uh, because it's a, um, a wet tunnel, I better get my um, wet weather gear on. So, catch you in a minute, All right. That says all nice and waterproof, safety first, and uh, got the gear here, all the gear, no idea. So we got the, uh, the EcoFlow, he's charging the ring light, and then we got a couple of other lights here. So I'm going to try and light up the boat and uh, show you the inside of the tunnel. Hopefully you'll be able to see, catch you in a minute. Here's the first one coming out. We'll be going in a minute. Apparently there's three boats coming through. I've just had a chat with the uh, the, the tunnel keeper and he's absolute spot on bloke, real nice guy. And he said I'll be going in about five minutes. So let's get the boat ready. Uh, that's all the uh, lights on in the boat. Oh, uh, well. Got that one there, show you that one there. Get your lights on. Everything to keep the mongrels happy. Head out right, Archibald. Right, let's see how we're getting on. Out of the way then. Oh dear. The first boat through. Two more to go. Tunnel keepers just waiting. Sign them out as they come through. Right, we'll be going in a second. Let's get the boat ready. So that's boat number two, who's having some problems. He's got black smoke coming out of his engine. I've told him to check his air filter is not blocked and here is boat number three who took absolutely ages and has obviously got an egg whisk for a propeller yes it's a wet tunnel they're all wiping their air <laughs> right our turn, time to go.
the big long tunnel. Like and come on. Get in, mate. Come on, let's fight. Can you get four times the mask? There you go. All good. No worries, buddy. See you later. That you, is it now? Uh, no, there's another one waiting to come this way. Is there? Yeah, he just turned up when I was just speaking to my colleague. He says there's another one just coming into you. Ah, uh, right. Okay. Well, I'm sure you'll get in the cup at some point. <laughs> Take care. Ta da. And here we are, Bar Castle Tunnel. There's so many leaves in the water under here. The old propeller is sloshing away. Those are leaves. And here he is. The skeleton. Uh, you can see slowly but surely the um, the uh, height of the tunnel is coming down. There's a little water inlet there. And uh, it does get very low further south from the tunnel. And uh, you've got a little cavey bit as well, which is always nice in a tunnel. It's a bit brick at the moment. Red brick, and we've just gone past the sign that says we're 600 meters in. Now I have to run, run through the boat a minute ago and just put the tilt the tunnel light down a little bit. I couldn't see where I was going. Kept crashing into the walls. Well, that's my excuse anyway. It's a very wet place to be. I'm not sure if the camera will show it, but the uh, the last, no sorry, the second boat that came out, he had a problem with his engine, the one I was on about, he needed to change the air filter. He was blowing sooty black smoke and the really starting to hurt my boat in here now because it's uh he's obviously blowing out so much crap that the air quality is terrible i'll have to have a chat with the the tunnel guy 
and let them know when we get to the end. And they have got great big massive extraction fans on the end of this tunnel, but uh, it ain't shifting what's in here at the moment. All right, just coming up to uh, a kilometre in. And if you look ahead, you see the uh, luminous uh, line. This is where the uh, tunnel ceiling comes down. Not literally comes down, hopefully. But the, the, uh, the air draft is uh, significantly reduced. You see it? Now we're in a little tunnel. <laughs> Oh, Bubs! Spike's panicking, poor bugger. Now another 150 meters up. We've got another step in the height. Getting really low now. <laughs> I love this tunnel. And it's wet. There's your little step. And now the ceiling's getting even flipping lower. And they're gonna have to drop down a little bit in a minute because it's getting even lower. And then it goes back up again. There we go. See that? Whoa. Tunnel. There it is, just here, that's it, there. And we are 1100 meters in now. Oh, and this is getting low. Right there, 30 meters on, and I've had to start crouching down now. <laughs> it's, uh, it's getting a bit low. I'll say that, it's just gone up again. Low bit, what the hell? Oh, it's getting lower. There's a little step here. See a little step? Just coming in the camera now. There he is. And we're 1,200 meters into the tunnel now. Ugh, hanging up here now. Ugh, ugh. Damp old bit and then another step. Why you take all the junk off the roof of your boat when you go in Air Castle Tunnel? Well, you get gauged anyway when you come in. If you hit the gauging plank, then you can't go in. And the ceiling's gone back up again for now. That's lovely. Back to nice red brick. I love canal tunnels. A lot of people don't like them, but I think they're great. A little adventure, isn't it? Look at that, look at the rust. The iron and the earth. Yeah, we got another little step. Thirteen hundred meters in now. I'm pretty sure there's a rocky bit down here somewhere. Ah, Ugh, dang it! You 
boys all right down there? Go pub later on. I'm not sure where to stop at the lake on the other side here. I think it's Westport Lake, it's called. Or um, I might crack on down to Stoke where the Carlton um, forks off. There's a good pub down there called the Holy Inadequate. Very, got his own little brewery and everything. Brilliant little boozer. He might be in there tonight. I'll decide when we get out of this tunnel first. She's like, solve this, I'm going downstairs. Alright, whip it! You okay? Now we're only over halfway now. The arrows are starting to point ahead of us, which means they're near Ig's exit. The arrows on the side, if I see one in a sec, I'll show you. They always point to the exit. Here's one down here. So if you fall overboard, you've got a kilometre to swim to um, the nearest exit. That's why you should always wear a life preserver. Oh boys, we're gonna get wet again, I'm afraid. Oh. Oh. I don't know what that bit is there. On my little shelf. The narrowing of the tunnel there. Now we're in a great big cavern. The ceiling's really high again now. Nearly there, boys. I think we'll get you a sausage roll. You want a sausage roll when we get to the end? Yeah? I'll get you a sausage roll. Alright, that's 600 metres from the end now, you can uh, just hear the, uh, the extraction fans and uh, what they do at the end, they open the, uh, is it, I think it's a roller shutter goes up. Oh. Look how much work's gone into this, you know, someone had to lay every single one of those bricks, it's mad isn't it, absolutely mad. Looks like this bit down here has been uh, relined. Obviously, had a cave in or something. Either that, or it's been uh, been the face of the bricks. I'm not sure if you can hear the tunnel. The fans in the tunnel. quality is a bit better now and you can feel a little breeze going past you I put my breath it's cold here look see it's all getting stuck towards the front of the boat that's the fancy cold in tunnels do not wear a mankini whilst going through tunnels you will freeze Five hundred meters, half a click. They should. I'll leave the camera rolling because uh, 
want to catch when they open the roller shutter at the end. I think they're being like a cavey bit here. I'm obviously thinking of another tunnel. So many tunnels, not so many brain cells. the fifth time I've been for this one on Narrowboat Dodger. Three hundred meters to go. Really hear those fans going now. Okay. Oh there we go, he's just opening the gate at the end. Looks like it's a nice sunny day outside. Half hundred meters. Put their hand up. I'm not trying to show if he's trying to tell me to stop or something. I need to make a stand for this camera. It's hurting my arm. Go on, take over. Sorry if the camera's jogging about. End the seven po seven portal of the Hare Castle Tunnel, or the Scare Castle Tunnel, as they call it this year, this time of year. It's a uh, Halloween special coming on at the moment. There we are. I'm filming you, filming me, filming you. Pardon. Yeah, Boat Dog Traveller. Boat Dog Traveller. Boat Dog Traveller. Alright, mate. Take care. That is the Hare Castle Tunnel. And the guys are just getting ready for the uh, for the Scare Ta Castle Festival. Alright, we'll leave it there. Alright, that's Hare Castle Tunnel out the way. Oh, a different world out here, eh? Beautiful day. Just stopped at a quick uh, chucky bar and uh, gave the dogs their, their promised sausage roll. Spike's an happy boy again now, ain't you, Spike? Yeah, happy boy? 
That's what counts, as long as me boys are happy. Right, where are we going to go then, Dell? Well, we could go to Longport. I've never stopped at Longport. Or, we could go that Stoke. But, mm, I don't know. We'll make it up as we go, eh? I actually stopped here once. There's a lovely lake over there, but unfortunately, some idiots have chucked so much rubbish in there, it's disgusting. Uh, more there. And, um, yeah, if you're more there, you can walk up the path, it takes you to like a bypass, and you can walk into town. There's, uh, there's a few, there's a littles, but it's a good walk. But there's a, there's a pub up there, but it's a bit kind of rough looking. I thought, ah, sod it, I ain't going in there. Anyway, let's head down towards, uh, is it Longport or Middleport? Longport and then Middleport. Well, here we are at Longport Lake. So, uh, there it's a lovely lake here. And you know, I think it would be criminal to, to miss it, really, wouldn't it? Because there's dogs need a good walk, they'd be stuck on the back of the boat. So, I think we'll moor up here for the night. Alright, thanks for watching the vlogs guys, I'll see you on the next one. Oh. What do you mean? We're not finished yet. Oh crap. We've got to do pubs on the cut.